By the time I was on Morning Joe, I thought I had it all under control, but there would be these moments. And there was this breaded chicken, risotto, fries, and chocolate cake in front of us, and I remember it exactly, because Joe said, oh God, even I wouldn't eat that. And uh, you were like, I inhaled <laughs> like the whole thing. Hoover. He turned away. I inhaled it all in, I swear, 30 seconds. And he turned back and he was like, wow, what just happened? And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. So, because, how did you feel after you did that? Um, awful. Awful. Enough. I kept thinking, how can I get on a run today? I've got to go right, running. Right, because now. it's a cycle. So right. you, you, you allowed yourself to do it, then you became. And I kept completely... kind of like squeezing my side, thinking, now I'm going to have more. It was, it was, in, it was really a bad way to live. And one night you woke up. This is a crazy story. Well, I think it's actually really important because I fell off the wagon writing this book because it made me think about food all the time and my obsession with it, so what happens? Um, and I, I think Ambien is like a truth serum. And I took one because I have to wake up at 3 in the morning to go to work and trying to get some few hours of sleep. I walk downstairs in the middle of the night, kind of late for me. My husband's in the kitchen. I walk right past him. I get out one of those super-sized jars of Nutella, start eating it with a spoon. I love Nutella. The spoon, though, is not enough. And apparently, I put the spoon down and started eating it with my hands. It's all over my arms. And I woke up, like, swimming in Nutella. It was all over me. And I didn't remember. When did you realize, OK, I'm not going to live like this anymore. This is taking over my life. I need help. Well, there were a few phases in my life where I made changes. When I had kids, the extreme behavior was dialed back. Um, you know, every 10 years, it got a little better, and I thought I had everything under control. I had a conversation with one of my best friends uh, on a boat two years ago, and the conversation became almost a confrontation. Um, and it made me realize, in the process of putting together uh, the thoughts for this book, which ultimately became Obsessed, that actually my problems were a lot worse than I ever thought. And um, this was actually the best therapy. You basically had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your longtime friend, Diane, who was really quite overweight. Yeah. Um, and, and then she had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, and you realized, though you were very different sizes, you both had a very similar issue. So much in common. I mean, we both suffered from food obsession, and we both did some of the same things over the past 25 years. And we wondered what was behind it, and if it was just that we were undisciplined, or we were, you know, not completely all there. Um, we think it's actually something more.